Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday. Welcome back to the channel. We got some pretty exciting stuff for you. Stay tuned. Well, guys, one thing that you'll start to notice around the parking lot here is that something is missing. Now, Junior is out of school and he's working full time now. He has been since last Thursday. So, knowing that, can you tell me, maybe you can tell me what you don't see in the parking lot? And maybe we'll even go back here and see if there's anything missing. That's right. You don't see Junior's truck. Why? So I'll let you in on a little secret. Here's some footage of something that took place last week. Junior has the bug. I think he's decided it's time to release the old meat wagon and move on to something a little better on fuel. He can't afford to put gas in this thing. What are you doing, Junior? Cleaning her up. How come? Because I'm selling her. You're going to sell her, are you? Yep. It is a good truck, but it needs a couple of front fenders, needs a couple of rear patch panels, which we have. We did find a nice new, not new, but a good used bumper for it. And it also has, um, the, these wheels and tires will come with it. And he also has four winter wheels and tires. So the winter wheels are just the ones that came on the truck and it's got Firestone Winter Force tires on it. So anyone looking for a nice solid old Dodge Dakota, it's a 92, got about 188,000 kilometers or probably 115,000 miles or so. And uh, he says it's just time to move on. So Junior, what are you getting if you were to sell this thing? What am I getting? Yeah. Go show them. We had a trade-in come in that uh, needed a little bit of work and he decided that this is the car that he wants. So he's going to be getting the Avenger. The Avenger is the car that he wants. And the reason why he likes it is because it's going to be inexpensive on gas. It's a four-cylinder automatic. And it's in really good shape. So, I think it'll be the perfect little car for him. He doesn't have to worry about spending his entire paycheck on gas. So, at least maybe with this one, your paycheck will last you more than a week. Probably, I don't know. Gas and that would probably last me two weeks. I would think so. Anyway, so we're going to get the uh, Dakota all cleaned up, hopefully get her for sale and uh, maybe sell her real quick. So if anybody out there sees this video, it might be too late, but 2500 bucks, it could be yours. All the parts, all the wheels and tires included. So just like that, Alex's truck is sold. It didn't last a day. Some guys came from out of town to uh, try it out and they, they made us an offer, put a deal together. So Alex is happy, and there goes the truck. So long to the meat wagon. So as you can see, there's the car sitting there, and uh, it is all switched over, and he is now the proud owner of the 09 Avenger. So right now it's about uh, 10 minutes to five on prom night. St. Stephen's so I'm gonna take a little run downtown uh, even though it's uh, early 
and just see what kind of vehicles might be driving through town. That's the whole point of this video is to see what kind of um, cool cars and whatnot that we can find on Palm Night. See what comes out of the woodwork. Two thousand eighteen. It's a little early yet. There doesn't seem to be any traffic down here at the Civic Center, so we'll take a quick cruise through town before we head home. You never know what you might see. Hi, honey. You gonna start vlogging now? No, I'm vlogging you. Oh yeah, so you, you get a hug and I don't. So Sherry Dawn gets a hug and I don't, eh? Holy frig. Car 
puts his brake lights on half a mile up in front of you and you're freaking out. Well guys, to say that I'm a little bit disappointed with this year's turnout as far as the unique cars go at prom would be an understatement. But I'm glad that we got to see what we did see. As you noticed in one of my last videos, I'm a big square body Chev truck guy and uh, there were at least four of those that we got to see and no matter what kind of shape they're in, I'm in love. But I got to see my niece pull up in Grampy's car and uh, she looked beautiful and stunning and her handsome date that was with her and uh, I'm sure they had a good time tonight uh, at their prom. So uh, let's hope that everyone stays safe tonight uh, and remember to not be drinking and driving and make sure that they actually get home uh, to their families and loved ones. So guys, as always, like this video, click that subscribe button and the bell notification and we will see you in the next upload.